All right, so you've got this great, big, beautiful world that you've created. And yet when you go to play mode, you are confined by this tiny little area that the camera can actually make it into. We want to open up the possibility to explore much further. And so we're going to need to create a camera follow script. Let's do it. So the first step will be to head over to your assets folder where you're going to create a new C Sharp script. I'm going to call this one camera follow. This is a relatively simple script. We're going to need to start by creating a reference to the object we actually want to follow, which is our player. So we'll go public and it's his game object that we're going to be following around. We'll name it player. And what we want to do is we want to constantly, so in our update function, make sure that the camera's position is equal to that of the players. So we're going to type in transform. If you're wondering why we're typing that back in Unity, when we click on our camera, you'll notice that the transform component is the one that sets its position. So if we were to set its x to 5, you'll notice down below here that it moved over 5. Same if we set it back to 0 or to negative 5. And so what we want to do is a, we want to locate our transform component and specifically look at the position. So in our script, we're going to go transform dot position. And we want to make the camera's position to be equal to the player dot transform dot position. Now when we get back into Unity, we can click on our camera. We can add this camera follow script. And in this box here where it wants to know who the player is, we can simply grab our player and drag him into that box. Now at this point, our script is um, kind of working in that our camera is actually following the player. The problem is our camera is actually inside of the player. <laughs> You'll notice that as I move left to right, the values for my X and Y do change. So the camera's scrolling with the player, but because it's stuck inside of him, all we see is this garish blue screen. So what we need to do is create some sort of an offset. Right now, if I click on my camera, you'll notice that it's zoomed out to a pretty nice amount, and that's because it is set to negative 10 on the Z. And so if we want to achieve this sort of a view where we are about 10 meters back from the player, we're going to have to put that into our script. So in order to fix this problem, we're simply going to need to add an offset that will move our camera back away from our player. To do this, we're going to create a public vector 3, and we'll call this one offset. The reason we're creating a vector 3 is because the player's position and the camera position are both vector 3s. They have an x, a y, and a z value. And so we'll need to do that for this offset. Now we can set the actual offset in Unity later on, but for now all we need to do is make sure that the transform position of our camera is equal to the player's transform position plus our offset. Now when we get back in Unity, you'll notice that our camera follow script has an X, Y, and Z offset value. And all we need to do here is simply take our Z and make sure that it's minus 10. That'll make sure that when we play the game, our camera zooms back 10 meters from the player and otherwise follows them wherever they go. You'll notice that I'm now free to roam around and explore my world, except of course for the boundaries of colliders. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please take a moment to click like or to subscribe to the channel.